I'm April, I'm the suitcase designer. I help people turn chaos and clutter into functional spaces they love. I'm an expat, but this year I've been living in the States. You've seen me working in my in-laws 100 year old home, but now for my final USA project, I'm going home. In this series, I'll be doing some extreme decluttering and organizing in the house where I was born, helping my parents in the small town of San Angelo, Texas. And today we're starting in the guest room. This is not working at all. Now I have to find my bags again. Today did not go at all as planned. Should have already been to Texas by now and instead I was at the airport the entire time. We're gonna try again tomorrow. I have a flight the same time. I should have filmed the woman telling me before she booked my flight that she guaranteed my bags would be waiting for me in baggage claim with all of my stuff. They, they told me to wait there for, <laughs> for two hours. I was waiting and I went to multiple levels of the airport and asked them to confirm and they're like, your bags are here. They're there. They were already dropped off at 12.15. So then I went back and then the woman said, no, your bags have never been here. I, she said, they'll be here in 40 minutes. So I wait longer and then I'm like, can you please call and check? And then they're like, oh, your bags aren't here. They're in Dallas. It's just so frustrating. This is gonna be another video. I've already complained enough. Same time tomorrow, guys. I think this flight is gonna work. So we have to catch the next one in Dallas. And then we've gotta figure out what happened to my bags. Apparently my bags are already here and we take off in 25 minutes. Feels like Texas. Welcome to Texas. I got my bags, everything's good. By the time I made it to my parents' house, I felt as if the floor was moving. I just showered and I feel like I still need a day to rest. Um, this is the new declutter series. I am here to help my parents in their house. Um, my mom has just retired from being a nurse for 44 years. I wanna prepare them to move into this next chapter of their life where they're really excited to be home. We're gonna try to find a good balance where it's decluttering their house brings them more mental clarity, but we also make it true to their style, which is going to have more stuff than we're used to or I'm used to. No, I'm used to it. I mean, I grew up in it. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for us, but I am so excited. Even though I would love to like make over every single space, we really just don't have time for that. So our priorities going into this makeover, we are going to focus on decluttering and organizing my parents' house because once they have more breathing room and their space, then they can go in and change the design and add whatever they want, but they're gonna have less stuff to move around. So it's going to make that process so much easier. If we get all the decluttering and organizing done, I'm hoping that if we can do anything we can just paint the two front bedrooms and here and the living room that is those are my goals the series is going to be really fun i've been waiting so long to kind of unmake over and declutter and organize my parents house i am so excited this is day one of our big declutter and organize the only goal for today is to declutter and organize as much of this guest room as possible their house has not always looked like this 
What I know to be true is that before the pandemic hit, they were dealing with multiple deaths of loved ones. And then the pandemic hit and all of these things just compounded until it was just easier to ignore the problem rather than try to solve it. They're overwhelmed in their space now, and my goal is to change that and to make them feel in control of their space again. All right, day one, let's go. So my goal is to start taking stuff off of the wall just because I feel like we need some air, some room to breathe when we walk in here, and we can keep all of the decor and stuff that we take off. We'll just put it into one pile so that we can use it later. just dumped all of the miscellaneous things I couldn't deal with. I didn't know what they were. Put them in here and I had her go through them and it worked. I'm just wondering where you would like your single wheel. <laughs> she got mad at me. The room that we've been working in right now was my very first bedroom. I didn't know, Mom, that was zebra print in there because all of 2000's animal print was in, so that was zebra print. This room, it was like a beige wall with hand sponge painted borders. That was super popular in like the late 90s. So I had leopard print all around the top. I got my first five piece bedroom set. And this was my first closet, but this is where the gold mine is right now. Oh baby, oh baby. You have a lot of storage. We're just gonna use it better. Put the pillow shot around the corner. Okay, here we go. What, I see some Legos up there, 1980s Legos. We got a sombrero, got a lot of pillows. Oh yeah, thank you. We got a lot of pillows, more pillows. <laughs> There's more and more pillows. There's pillows. There's our jewelry stand. We have a lot of hats. Hey, those are old patterns. We have a lot of old patterns. for her these were my nanas so we're going to just put him back in the closet for now okay
This is all papers that she's going to go through by herself later. She was a nurse. She got a lot of stuff. You found it. It's Nana's. In a trash bag in a box. <sighs> oh, I think uh. she's losing steam, so. We did not get done nearly as much as I wanted to today. I thought that for sure we could do this whole room, but I my mistake was that I didn't open that closet first. There was a lot of stuff. But it does feel more open here, especially getting that piece of furniture out. That was really helpful. But we have created an absolute disaster throughout the house. Even my suitcase is just laying open in the living room right now. So it is definitely one of those moments where it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, tomorrow is going to be a big day of like really removing things from the house, donating a lot of the stuff in the other room. So I'm hoping we can make some serious progress tomorrow and most importantly, finish the closet that we didn't finish today. This is all stuff to shred down here. Back here, we have a keep pile, but right now there's not really space. And then we still need to go through all of her jewelry, sewing here and quilts, and then what's that? Uh, games and then papers for her to go through. We end up clearing out this part, but we have to do all of this tomorrow. I will see you in the next series. You can just watch for the title name. I think it's like extreme decluttering and organizing my parents' house. Same title, the series title is going to come up on every single video. Um, just the thumbnail and the episode number will be different. If you wanna get notified of the series, you'll have to turn on the notification bell. Otherwise it's like YouTube sometimes doesn't even know a video came out. So I'll see you in the next video, bye.